And here we go yet again. Another move by the San Francisco 49ers. Guys, it hasn't even been five minutes. The Devondre Campbell news had just broken a couple minutes ago. I made that video. That will be a huge signing for their inside linebacker rotation, especially now that, um, you know, Dre Greenlaw went down and, um, nursing an injury to his Achilles. That will be a huge addition. But now they make another signing here in free agency. According to Mike Garofolo, the 49ers have agreed to terms on a one-year deal with the DB slash special teamer. That's the thing to notice special teamer chase lucas now the lions 2022 seventh rounder is heading to san francisco after two seasons in detroit where he performed very well as the team's gunner on punts now yes he is a special teamer however he has showed or he has showed us that he does have potential as an actual defensive back and might even get some time here in san francisco maybe as a you know full-time player on the field maybe now, I'm not saying he's going to be a starter. I'm not saying he's going to get a ton of playing time. But I'm saying he has the potential to become that type of player. In this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about Chase Lucas. But before we jump in, subscribe if you're new. Join the family. It's free. doesn't cost anything. But also, comment down below a letter grade for this team offseason so far. They bring in Malik Collins, uh, Jordan Elliott, Leonard Floyd, obviously, they're trying to shore up this defense for next season to go against Pat Mahomes, right? That's what they're trying to do, um, and that's what they're doing, right? Now, let's talk about Chase Lucas. Give me a letter grade down below. Let's dive right in. And here we go. The first thing you notice about Chase Lucas, and I really wanted to show this play here as you see him lined up against this wide receiver. Now, what we're going to see is Andy Dolan drop back in the pocket. We're going to get an in route here over the middle of the field, maybe like a 15 uh, or, or, yeah, 15 the 13 yard route here up the middle of the field trying to get him open against chase lucas now what we're going to notice about chase lucas here is his insane ball skills now keep in mind the man hasn't gotten too much opportunity as a full-time db yet but this is what makes me believe the man has potential jumps leaps right in front of it and gets an outstanding leaping interception now again he hasn't gotten the opportunity to play at this level a lot however in the preseasons and some of the you know the plays he had during the regular season I'm, I'm telling you guys right now not only are you getting a special teamer but you're getting a guy who works hard wants to win every single possession and will do whatever it takes to be a, a good nfl player i think he already is as a gunner we've showcased why he is or we haven't showcased it but he is showcased why he is one of the best you know gunners in the nfl last season over the last couple of seasons right with detroit but now, not only do you get a special teamer who's going to be an immediate impactful player, because listen, I, I know a lot of people don't care about special teams, but it is one of the most important aspects of football that goes highly underrated, right? But this guy has great ball skills, can get interceptions, can bat down some footballs. I think he deserves some more playing time, and I guess we'll get to see him more in the preseason and training camp and whatnot. But this is a solid deal for them, a team in, in the 49ers who are doing the right things, right? You can tell the one thing they really want to do next season is compete with the Chiefs, man. They are bringing in more talent to this defense, trying to make sure they're ready, ready, loaded up for next season when they take on a Patrick Mahomes, when they take on a a Lamar Jackson or Josh Allen, right? They're going to go against some good quarterbacks and you need guys to come in here and make a difference. Now, I don't think Chase Lucas will be a day one starter. I don't think he'll be someone who touches the field too often. But when he does, you know you'll get one thing. 100% effort, 100% of the time. Uh, Chase Lucas is a guy I like and I think this could be uh, a low risk, maybe high reward opportunity if he gets some playing time. But I still think this uh, uh, Chase Lucas and this team has a lot of work to do in terms of trying to compete for next season's Super Bowl. But with that being said, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, and give me a letter grade down below of this signing. Uh, I'm going to give it a, a C plus for now. But let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.